I would like to introduce another Carey School senior in her Panther Points of Pride video. Hi, I'm Kylie Wood and my parents are Christy and Brian Wood. I would say what inspires me at Carey High School would probably be the athletics um, just because of the life lessons I've learned through playing sports. I look up to both of my parents. They're both really hardworking and I hope one day that I can be half the person they both are. Um, I just want to thank them for all the support and love they've given me throughout my whole life. Um, my favorite subject is math because it's something that challenges me, but when I finally figure it out, um, it feels great. <laughs> so um, I actually admire, really admire two teachers here at Cary, and that would be Miss Young and Mrs. Williams. They have both been teachers that have pushed me um, out of my comfort zone, but have also been there to help me every step of the way and get to the final project whatever it is. Um, so I just really appreciate both of them and all their hard work that they do for us students here at Cary. Um, outside of school, I hang out with my family a lot. Um, I ride horses, just anything outdoors I love to do outside of sports. Um, I work on a farm, so I change pipe and I don't know, all that good stuff, my lawns. <laughs> um, in five years when others think of me. I hope they remember um, how hardworking I was and how dedicated I was to my schoolwork, my team I was on for athletics, um, anything, just how hard work really gets you to the end result that you want to get to. Um, in one to two years, I hope to be playing college basketball somewhere and starting my career path in physical therapy, so taking some general classes. In six to eight years, I hopefully am finishing up my physical therapy school and I'll become a physical therapist and can start my job somewhere wherever I decide to live in my future and start a family and yeah. Basketball has always been something special to me. I have loved the game since I can remember. Um, I've grown up with it watching my cousins and uncles play. My grandpa was a coach, my uncles are coaches. Um, I've just really enjoyed playing basketball. It's been something very special to me like I said. Um, I've learned you know how to work hard, how to be dedicated to my goals, how to set goals, um, how when things aren't going your way, you just gotta persevere through and keep going, and sometimes it goes your way and other times it doesn't, but that doesn't mean to give up. So basketball has just taught me so many lessons that I've used in life and school and everything. <laughs> have you won any awards in basketball? I have, so <laughs> my, jun my sophomore and junior year, I got the MVP of our conference, and my last year, my junior year, I was the All-State Player 1AD2 um, Player of the Year. Uh, the home game? Okay, so the Lighthouse game home last year, we were down by a lot. Um, I was actually really sick that game, uh, but we weren't performing well at all in the first half, and we went in at halftime and talked, you know, and at halftime I thought to myself, like, I'm not losing, I don't want to lose, um, so I came back out, you know, and we ended up winning the game on a buzzer beater shot. Um, I ended up breaking our school scoring record that game, which was kind of cool to me. Um, I didn't even realize I was to that point because we had played so bad that game it just I was just happy we won and I'm grateful for my team and that experience. Um, in 10 years I'm probably going to remember sports to be honest. Um, sports give you life lessons like I mentioned earlier and I'm just going to remember all the memories with my teammates, um, the lessons my coaches have taught me, uh, the bus rides, the singing, you know, all the dancing in the locker rooms, just different things like that you I think I'll truly cherish and remember forever. Um, and also winning the state championship my sophomore year and being state runner up my junior year and hopefully get another trophy my senior year. <laughs> when going through a difficult time, you always have to remember you can't control the situation. Um, whatever it may be, you just have to try and control yourself. Like you can always control your attitude and our coach Sears has always said that, um, you know, you can't control the situation, but you can always control your attitude. And I really started taking that into my everyday life of, you know, what can I do to control my attitude in this situation? I can remain positive and try my best whether the situation is going my way or not. Um, so I just say, you know, you can always control your attitude and things. Um, in my time at Cary School, I am most proud of winning the state championship, being a state runner-up, even though we fell a little bit short of our back-to-back -back state champion. Um, Ship goal. I am also most proud of being in the National Honor Society and upholding my GPA while performing my extracurricular activities. And I'm also currently the student body president at Cary High School, so I'm pretty proud of that as well. 
The habit I think I've used the most and will continue using the most is habit three, put first things first. Um, it just helps me prioritize my time and what is most important and what I need to do next. Um, there are a lot of people I could thank. Um, I'm going to start with my grandparents though. They've been so supporting and um, have you know, come to all my games. They show me so much love and support through everything I do and I really appreciate all of them. Um, and then I'd also like to thank kind of my overall family, my aunts, uncles, cousins and everything that they do for me. Um, and all my friends and all that they do. I wouldn't be where I am today without any of them or who I am, so just I'd like to thank all of them. Um, one other person I'd really like to thank is my younger brother Preston. He, we might not always get along, but I would do anything for that little guy and I really am going to miss him next year and I hope he knows how thankful I am to have him in my life. <laughs> I'm Carly Wood and I'm a senior at Cary High School.